When you're first diagnosed with cancer, you may feel overwhelmed with information, and among the many things to consider is nutrition. But fortunately, when it comes to nutrition, there are some simple things you can do to stay as healthy as possible before surgery and during recovery. Hi, my name is Dr. Gail Caldwell, and I'm a registered dietitian nutritionist and professor of nutrition with the University of Florida IFIS Food Science and Human Nutrition Department. There are many reasons why it's important to make sure you're eating well before surgery. They include preventing weight loss, reducing the risk of complications after surgery, decreasing the length of hospital stay, and helping to feel better and stay stronger. Having good nutrition will help you get back to the things that you enjoy doing. A diet that includes a variety of foods from the fruits, vegetables, grains, protein foods, and dairy groups, and one that provides plenty of protein and calories is an important part of preparing for surgery. Today, we'll discuss why it's important to meet your calorie and protein needs and ways to do it. Let's start by looking at ways to meet your calorie needs. Eating six small meals a day and adding extra fat to the foods you eat are relatively simple things that you can try to do. Adding fat to your food helps to boost calories without increasing the amount or volume of food on your plate. Examples of the types of fat you can add to your foods include butter, margarine, oils, peanut butter, heavy whipping cream, and avocado. Adding gravies and sauces is another way to increase your calorie intake and enhance the flavor of your food. Some easy ways to add these foods to your meals include stirring butter or margarine into pasta or soup, adding avocado slices to wraps, and adding whole milk or heavy whipping cream to foods like oatmeal, and smoothies, as well as mashed potatoes, custard, pudding, or scrambled eggs. Protein has many functions in the body. For example, protein helps to form the structure and support for your muscles and bones. Getting enough protein in your diet also will help you to fight infections. Protein is found in many foods. Animal sources include chicken, turkey, beef, pork, fish, as well as dairy products like milk, yogurt, and cheese. Plant-based sources of proteins include beans, peas, lentils, nuts, and seeds. Examples of ways to add protein to your meals include adding peanut butter, yogurt, protein powder, or ice cream to milkshakes, using shredded cheese as a topping for vegetables, potatoes, and soups, and adding beans to pasta and grain dishes. Commercial nutrition supplements can be an easy way to increase your calorie and protein intake. Commercially available products include instant breakfast and liquid nutrition supplements. Whenever possible, choose commercial nutrition supplements that include the word PLUS in their name. These provide extra calories and protein. Examples include Ensure Plus, Boost Plus, and generic store brands. These products can be found in your local supermarket, discount store, and pharmacy. And always talk to your healthcare provider or a registered dietitian nutritionist to identify the products that are most appropriate for you. Now, let's take a look at just how easy it can be to make a high calorie, high protein milkshake. For this recipe, you'll need a packet of powdered instant breakfast, one half cup of whole milk, and one cup of vanilla ice cream. And easily just combine all the ingredients into a blender and mix. To increase the calories, you can add fruit or chocolate syrup, and for extra protein, add peanut butter or dry milk powder. Making sure you get enough calories and protein in your diet before surgery is one of the best ways to help you recover after surgery. Remember to increase your calorie intake by eating six small meals a day and to add sources of protein and fats to the foods you eat. And finally, use commercial nutrition supplements for an easy way to get more calories and protein in your diet. If you have particular needs or questions about your diet, contact a registered dietitian nutritionist for information specific to your condition. A registered dietitian nutritionist is your best source of information when it comes to your diet and nutritional needs.